Selena Priest, welcome back to the Lions. You came here in 2017 in our inaugural year. How does it feel to be back returning? Uh, it feels amazing. Um, it doesn't feel any difference. It feels like I'm just going straight home. So yeah, I feel right at home. Nerves are not as big as they were in that first year. So yeah, it feels really good to be back. Uh, do you approach this differently from the time when you first came in 2017 to now a few years and you've worked very hard to get back here? Yeah, I suppose um, I'm more relaxed coming in this time. I think I know what I'm coming up against and things like that. So before I was very nervous, didn't know what we were going to do, how it was going to play out. So I'm more relaxed and like I said, it, it feels like home, so it's good. So you were delisted at the conclusion of the 2017 season. So how did you approach the next couple of years? Were you aiming to get back into an AFLW team? Uh, so yeah, I took a couple of years off where I had no passion or desire with AFL at all. I, I took a big step back and reflected a lot and then I don't know how or where but I found the love again um, and I started playing well and then I thought, no, nah, I've definitely got to give this a crack one more time. I'm fit enough, young enough, I've got to do it. So I sat back, reflected, changed a lot of things and thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a crack one more time. And you said you actually approached different coaches. What were the sort of advice that they gave you to get back here? Yeah, so I actually um, found a coach who actually coaches a lot of the youth state teams and things like that. He's very knowledgeable. Um, he actually fine-tuned a lot of the basics. So I thought AFL was you know, very complex and things like that. But he just found out that there's a few things that he needed to change with me in terms of my aerial marking, ground balls, my kicking, those types of things. Um, game analysis as well. After each game, we'd sit down together at his house or somewhere and, and go over my game and critique it, things like that. So it was mostly the basics, I think, and just taking it game by game, step by step. That's amazing commitment. Was it, was it a big like struggle for you during that time I and mean, it's amazing but you have work you know your own life and now you're committed to just becoming the most the best player you can but with no guarantee of actually getting drafted. Yeah well I think uh, that coach as well he, and my partner and things like that they just said about just taking it step by step and not taking it too seriously and whatever will happen will happen if it's meant to be it'll happen so um, no I just I continued with work put no pressure on myself so it, I had no you know, reason to be let down or anything if it didn't happen. So you know, it was it was quite easy to just go along. Yeah. And what was it like hearing your name yesterday at the AFLW draft? Yeah, it was good. I, I did get a bit nervous and a bit jittery and things like that, and did shed a tear because it, I've been working so hard to get there, and finally it's it's happened. It's official. And yeah, it was great. We're so happy to have you back here in the den, and all the best for the 2020 season, Selena. Thank you. Happy to be here.